Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and very good morning. So today we will continue on 6.3 transmission and distribution of electricity. So before that, uh, let's see our intro first. Okay, let's start with uh, 6.3 transmission and distribution of electricity. So the component involved uh, in the electrical power transmission and distribution system are number one is power station, followed by step up uh, transformer station, and then being distributed uh, for number three is national grid network, and then uh, for number four step down transformers, and number five is substation. Number two. The generators at the power station produce alternating current with a voltage of 11 kV or 25 kV. This current enter a transformer station. Here, the voltage is raised to 132 kV or 275 kV using a step-up transformers. So the alternating current then flow through a network transmission cable called the national grid network then it entered uh, into a, re a regional control and switching zone here uh, the electrical power is controlled before it is sent where and when it is needed so it is also allowing some station and lines to be shut down without cutting off power supply Okay, from this zone, the alternating current flows through a series of step-up transformers and switching zone at the main substation and it, its branch uh, before distributing to, cons uh, to consumers. Okay, this diagram shows uh, electrical energy transmission and distribu uh, distribution system. Okay, the keyword is uh, this A represent uh, power station and then uh, followed by the step up transformers here b okay the keyword is b and then uh, being transfer transmission system is called uh, using the national grid network and then uh, from c so we'll uh, also have d step up transform uh, step down transformers and then uh, being transferred to substation and lastly will distribute to the consumers so the advantage of the national grid network number one is national grid network it's a network of uh, cables connecting all the power station in the country so the cable is made of uh, of copper or aluminium and this electrical energy from the power station can be sent out to any area requiring without interruption. So the main advantages of this uh, of the network are number one is any area requiring additional current uh, electrical energy can be supplied by the by an additional power. Number two, the function of a power station which is uh, interrupted for maintenance can be taken over by another power station in the network. Number three is a very large power station are not necessary. So an area requiring a large quantity of electrical energy can be supplied by two or more power station in the network. 